This saga started, believe it or not, all the way back in January of 2022. We've been talking about this since January of last year. Holy cow. It's almost two years. Well, guess what? It's over. It's happened. It's done. It's over. Johnny. It's official. It's over. After spending a whopping $69 billion, mm. Microsoft is now the proud owner of Activision Blizzard. They you name X. Activision Blizzard, they could have. It would have been a steal. You name an Activision Blizzard property, it is now under Microsoft's umbrella. They put out the official YouTube video announcing it, uh, which I'm sure they've had made for over a year now. They're like, as soon as this deal goes through, put this video on the Xbox channel so everybody knows. So uh, if, they did it. They did the damn deal. They done the damn thing. If you can't make any good games yourself, <laughs> buy them, baby. Buy them out. So uh, yeah, Call of Duty, Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, whatever else Activision does. I don't know. Call of Duty, bro. There, yeah, Josh, this is big news for you. You excited? I'm feeling so great. Yeah, I it's thought so you would be. But anyway, yes. Am I the only one that feels weird about Crash Bandicoot? Like, it just Tell feels me about like it. I just know that. Look, I'm not even that big of a Crash Bandicoot fan. I think I played one of them. Was it the second game? I believe it was. <laughs> but, uh, but I just like, I don't know. I miss mascots i miss like like video game system mascots and i thought he was going to be a mascot for the ages and he turned into nothing and and now look at him he's been all over in everybody's house he's been in everyone's house wait what do you mean he turned into nothing like he, now he's now he's just like on anybody's system you oh, want gotcha. you want to play him you can play him you know and i, I mean, feel like us... like there's something about like having an exclusive character that's like like go team Sony or whatever, like yeah. as stupid as that is and how much I hate it when it's in real life, when it's like mascots doing it. I just, I, got, Sony's there's a got wholesome mascots. thing. They got uh, Kratos. Well, the Spyro, Spyro was another one that was kind of mascotty and like he's gone too now. It's like, well, why do we even have, like we're just selling our mascots. Just feels weird. I know they weren't official, right? They weren't ever really like official mascots or. I mean, Maybe they maybe I don't think any company officially says this is our mascot. It's not like Nintendo says Mario's our mascot. Yeah. Just seen as that way. But yeah, when Sony would do commercials in the PS1 era and they had that guy in the Crash Bandicoot suit standing oh, outside yeah. of Nintendo's headquarters, like yes. yelling at Mario, that's kind of your mascot. Yeah. And yes, I agree. It's not weird, but I get that weird. Like, it's decades since it's been like that. Not but weird. I get what you are saying. It's the same thing as, like, still when I see a Sonic game on a Nintendo system. Sega. I always yeah. think Sega, I'm like, even though, yeah. That's, yeah. that's, it's still something. There's still something there. But, uh, yes. Um, a Crash and, and uh, Spyro have long since been multi-platform so uh, there it is but yeah like i said sony's got kratos and, gex james pond uh they're all gone well gex was <laughs> well gex was on gex was 64 right or... no gex was uh 3do the 3do oh, mascot wow. for a little bit then he went everywhere the, the, dana gold wouldn't be nailed down to just one platform so uh microsoft clearly has master chief and that's it for a mascot. They, they screwed Master Chief, in my opinion. I mean, it's a small opinion, and it's one man. Yeah, but, but it'll but like it's not. I mean, Halo should be a, as big as Call of Duty. Like it used to be huge, and they just like what are they? Well, you know, after Bungie, uh, you're left, right. Like they, Master Chief will always be the icon for Xbox, but he's not. He's fallen on hard times. Yeah, like, people don't like Halo like they used to after a few lackluster games. Um, and you know, when it comes to Crash Bandicoot, you know who you can blame? Not Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog. No. They gave it up. Naughty Dog sold they it. They wanted all Uncharted and all Last of Us. They're done. They did. They're like, enough of this cutesy Crash and Jack and Daxter. We got to go. I don't know. We've got to. I'm not knocking what they do because it's all great. I love but... what they do, but yeah, it's it's a shame that they. Well, it sounds like they're in some big trouble lately with their multiplayer game that they've been working on. It sounds like they put it on the shelf. 
So that's like years and years and years of that. Yeah, they've been doing the Last of Us multiplayer game for oh, yeah, that's... a long time now. But a uh, rumor, latest rumor is they've shelved it indefinitely. I don't know, but they're putting it on ice for a while because they've Weird. been having trouble for a long time. Weird idea for a game, in my opinion. But oh uh, well, we never knew wonder. what it was about, <laughs> other than Last of Us. In my opinion. But oh uh, well, we never knew wonder. what it was about, <laughs> other than Last of Us multiplayer. So I don't. I don't maybe it would have worked, but it sounds like it's not working for them. Walking Dead situation where it's like, oh, this is popular. Let's make a spinoff of it. Um, it sounds like what Naughty Dog does with all their franchises. They do a certain amount of numbered entries, and then they're like, and now a multiplayer game, a party game, it's or a, a kart racing game, and they can't do that kind of stuff with The Last of Us. So it's a online multiplayer game. I don't know, but we may never see. It sounds like they're hurting. So how could a Last of Us kart racing game be? <laughs> That could be kind of funny. I uh, mean, it wouldn't. It wouldn't go well. It would I probably could not imagine the, the outrage that would man, happen. That'd be that, good. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know, Naughty Dog. If you're struggling, maybe you should go back to your roots, find yourself again. Maybe a new spin on Jack and Daxter. Maybe that would help. I know you're not going back to Crash, but well, it's tough to it's tough to see all these and. And you've loved all these characters and played them, you know, like I just love them as characters. I really haven't played a lot about Zelda and Mario and and like how they've stayed relevant for 40 years and like the ideas that go into it and the people that work on it and all the everything that goes into it. And like their their focus is on on the game. It's not on mostly it's not necessarily on like how much money we get, we can make if we poop out like a version of this. It's kind of like we want this to be fun and we want it to be great on its own not necessarily because it's the 10th one of a franchise um but it's it's sad to see like oh like and i again i love naughty dog and the games that i've played of theirs but it's kind of like oh uncharted and the last of us are huge we're gonna focus on that we're gonna kick the others out of the way and like a lot of other companies are doing that like they you know and that i mean don't get me started on other things like assassin's creed they ran it in the ground. They changed the formula. They ran that into the ground. And then they were like, let's go to the beginning again. And it's like, you already ran that into the ground. Yeah. Like, this is supposed to be a game made by multicultural people of all over the... It's like, then have them put their ideas in. Don't just put them in there and be like, oh, they're smart They're yeah. they're smart techies. They can make the game that we want exactly as it has been. But uh, but yeah, now I'm just rambling with stuff that you already know. It's multifaceted with Naughty Dog. Like, if Naughty Dog truly felt like they were done with Crash and Jack and Daxter, then I don't want them to just put out another one because they feel like they got to keep them going. But also, like, after all these years, you tell me you got nothing. You couldn't. You, there's no ideas or no anything there. And then I, I guess I would rather the franchise lay dormant than they fart out a sequel just because they feel like they have to. So I guess in reality, it's better where it is now. They did what they wanted to with Jack and Daxter. They felt like there wasn't more to do and they didn't want to repeat themselves. So they stopped. But it seems so. And becoming known as the Uncharted Last of Us company. They couldn't be like our next game is Jack and Daxter. Like if they really had another idea they wanted to do and they showed a Naughty Dog logo and then they showed Jack and Daxter, dorks like me would be like, this is the greatest day of my life. But everybody who plays The Last of Us and Uncharted would be like, what is this garbage? Why would you go back to this? Like it's not going to be their next big thing. It'd it'd have to be like this one's for our true fans or I don't want to say that this one's for our old fans or the fans that were there at the beginning. So I don't know. I don't like the situation. I would love a new game, but if they feel they don't have an idea to do, then I'd rather th- not get one. Yeah, I agree with you on that. I wouldn't want them to just I don't know. I don't force know. it. But, but anyway, but, yes. But it makes you wonder, like, who are they hiring at Nintendo, these developers? Like, I mean, you got to imagine the people that work on these games, some of them do it just because it's a job. It's not because they're like, oh, I really want to make this game, right? Or are all of them really passionate about the game they're making? Because I feel like at Nintendo, you could feel that passion. And in other situations, you don't always feel that. I think Nintendo does a very good job of hiring employees that feel that passion. Like working at Nintendo is like a thing of prestige. Like 
it's very clear when you go to get a job at Nintendo, you know what you're going to be working on, like a Donkey Kong, a Mario, a Pikmin, a Zelda. Like, you know what you're getting into. So I'd imagine when you're applying for that job, you're not like, eh, I'll go work at Nintendo and then I'll move on to somewhere else. You're like, I want to work at Nintendo. Like, I want to help foster these franchises into the future. Whereas if you go yeah, to Activision... Yeah. Sure, I guess you want to work on Call of Duty, but maybe you don't want to work on Call of Duty yearly for the rest of your life. Like, that's the thing with Mario games, uh, mainline Mario, mainline Zelda, mainline whatever. Those are big deals because they don't come out often. So I think that passion is there. Yeah, because they those developers know what they're getting into and they're like, Nintendo doesn't fart these out. These are going to be big deals. These are the next big things for these franchises. So. It's different. As always, Nintendo's different. But yes, the uh, mascot days are over. Activision has Crash and Spyro, which means Microsoft has them now as well. So, uh, And World of Warcraft and all that stuff. So $69 billion spent. Lots of legal battles taken care of. Lots of concessions made. But uh, it's obviously very important to Nintendo fans because now Microsoft's promise is official. For the next 10 years, at the very least, Nintendo's platforms, be it Switch or whatever it is, Switch's successor, will get the yearly Call of Duty installments with feature parity day and date with other versions. So if you have been a Nintendo fan hoping to be treated with respect when it comes to Call of Duty, you are 100% going to get that wow. for the next decade at the very least. So Switch's successor, We'll get every single Call of Duty mainline game that comes out. That is Microsoft's pledge and promise. They wrote it out. They talked to Nintendo. It's done. It's official. It's happening. So, Call of, Call of Duty. Call Josh of is Duty very Duty excited. Um, so hmm. that's a given. And then other Activision franchises, will they come to Nintendo? Probably. Spyro and Crash make perfect sense for Nintendo. I would be surprised if Microsoft was like, nope, those are Xbox only. Um, so yeah, I'm sure that'll happen. And whatever else, uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. But it's... it's. <sighs> does this mean that Crash could be in like the next Halo game? It sure does. Cool! That would be the thing to turn the franchise around. I think you're right. But, uh, <laughs> and then make a platformer where you play as Master Chief. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, yeah, this means Microsoft can do whatever they want with Activision's franchises. They can put Master Chief in, in a Call Spyro of Duty. and put Spyro in Call of Duty. And yeah, they can do any. They can uh, can be all kinds of inbreeding going on, whatever mm. they want. So, yeah, it took a very long time. People were very burnt out, but it has happened. It's a done deal. It's official, people. Done deal, pal. 